Dime friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kalu on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm very happy that you found your way to today's video which will be another video of Jolly Jam Shop where I'm just going to present you a little bit the new um, paintings that we are going to release this Saturday at 12 p.m. CET. So um, we have a big selection of seven paintings this week that will be out at 12 p.m. Uh, on this Saturday like I told you and like always we get this little offer um, of Jolly Weekend 10 which means that you will get 10% off of your order. Also a quick reminder that all of our artwork is legally licensed which means that if you buy something there's a part that goes to the artists as well. Um, and what I also wanted to mention is because this is something that comes up sometime um, even though it's written on the web page but if you place an order and it's over 90 euros you can actually use the free shipping code um, and this free shipping code can also be combined like to other sales like for example if we have another sale you can always combine it like with uh, any other code the only thing where it does not work still at the moment is when you redeem your happy points which means that um, you have like these points, the coins you earn when you place an order. Um, so let's start it off. We also sell like a lot of variety of different kind of paintings, digital, traditional paintings, characters, a few landscapes, um, a lot of different styles, I would say, from a very variety of different artists. So if you love artwork, stay tuned because on this Monday there will be something new. So you can see the problem still has not been solved with the lighting. Um, just give me a quick second to put that back on. Uh, even though we can see this painting here very beautifully in the dark. So maybe I should just keep it that way. <laughs> no, wait, just be right back. So here I am again. What I wanted to say is that all of our diamond paintings, you can buy them in square drills or in round drills. Um, and you can also like customize them and just add a few of our customization drills to it. So we are currently selling metallic drills, twinkle drills, you might also know as fairy dust drills. We sell ABs, crystals and glow in the dark drills. If you need some help with like enhancement, you can always watch our videos about new releases where we are talking a little bit about these um, enhancements. But you can also like contact us via email on our Jolly Jam Shop at gmail.com and we are going to try to help you out where the best placement is and what kind of drills you could use with that. So let's get started this week's um, first painting and it is actually a painting that's called Tulip and it's from one of our artists that we had also something released last week but I'm still going to read you her little bio. So she's an artist from Mexico and um, art is her may uh, like her big hobby her biggest hobby and she loves to illustrate in fantasy styles with a variety of colors and she wishes to be like um, she has taken the inspiration like from her favorite artist and she hopes that one day she will also be someone's favorite artist um, so this is from Ultrama illustration you can also see that some other brands are currently um, uh, rendering some of her artwork and this is has a sparkle alert so please stay tuned as well this does mean that we will have like two special drills that are with the kit inside of the kit um, to replace two different colors so surprise about which colors we chose for you to enhance but this is the painting and like I told you guys you have like two special drills with it. We do sell it in three different sizes, small one 40 by 50, 60 by 75 and 80 by 100 centimeters like you can see here. Let's move on to the next one. So this is one from uh, 
one of our also very first artists that we had in our shop. And I'm really happy to say that we finally have a second part, a second piece from her. And she's called Viviana Agudelo and she's a Colombian visual artist. She has been developing her ideas through painting and digital art. In her artistic process, she seeks to know herself, expressing her feelings, incorporating symbolic elements, exploring color, gesture, line and the body. I really love this little drawing that falls under the Alice category because it's called in the garden and you can see here that we have a representation like of Alice and she's just in her garden surrounded by all of these beautiful flowers and I love this drawing it's done like in such a unique way like the style is so different like from what we have elsewhere in our shop so let me tell you a little bit more about this painting so we have it in three sizes a 45 by 60 we have it in a 60 by 80 and a 70 by 95 so this is the 70 by 95 rendering and if you want to play some uh, abs in that kit like i would definitely work with her hair so this is the very first part that i would like customize myself like you see these like clear highlights going on through the hair so i would definitely work with either uh, twinkle drills like fairy dress drills or i would work with a b so like to render a little bit more like the light through her hair you could also work with the light parts where you see it hit her body like the wider parts here that's also on her arms you could render that a little bit to make the sunshine um, reflect on her and you could also work with her her like her robes and also like the things she has in her hair um, so I think this would be gorgeous you can see she's holding a key in her hand so maybe if you want to work with some metallic drills why not like use those uh, for that very small part of the key otherwise what you can do is always like dot the little mushrooms here in red I love to use red drills like if it's ABs or uh, even crystals I really love to use these so I think red would also be lovely in this one and then you could, of course, still work with the flowers there, like add a little bit of pink uh, in the pink flowers or add a little bit of blue, add a little bit of yellow. This is totally up to you, but you can do so much or even just like the white for the sparkle of um, the different kind of butterflies that we can see here. So I think this is a nice way to enhance it. A lot of different ways to do it. I would definitely go with Alice's hair and with her like dress but you could still work with the flowers as well to give it a lot more sparkle if you want to add more like always these are suggestions you are free to do whatever you want to do um, if you just want to follow a few you can follow a few if you want to add your own you are totally free to do whatever you want just a few suggestions um, let's move on and let's get to this beautiful artwork from Ethelana. So Ethelana is another artist that we have here. She does a lot of digital artwork and mainly of characters that are actually every time like in the center part and then they are surrounded by beautiful backgrounds and animals sometimes. So this is um, the Melody Keeper. Um, the music doll so this is the second painting we have from her and you can see it's a painting that she has drawn in 2023 so it's a more recent one um, let me just to be sure and not to tell you anything that is not true let me just go quickly check the sizes because i know we have three sizes but since they vary a lot this week um, I just want to make sure that I'm telling you the right sizes. So for this one, like the Melody Keeper, we have it in 50 by 70, 60 by 85 and 70 by 100 again in square or round drills you can order it and i just think she's so so stunning and she's also one um, that falls into our valentine's category so we have this beautiful lady here she's probably a doll like no real human you can see it on her joints here but you can also see it here she has like a keyhole and the fun part is you have some keys that are flying around her with little butterfly wings so this did remind me me a little bit of Harry Potter if you have seen the first Harry Potter you know what I'm talking about um, what else do we have like we have this beautiful swan in the background surrounding her and the flowers and I love her hair it's just so beautiful and the dress is so 
gorgeously stunning. Um, I also love the detail because like you can see here that she has a little flower tattoo as well uh, or at least a drawing of flowers on her upper leg. So really really beautiful drawing. So what can you do? You can do a lot here. Um, you can work either just with the background, you can just work with the person and the swan, you can mix up a little bit of both. So this is totally up to you. If you want to work with highlights, you can work with her hair again, like make some highlights, pink highlights, put some pink highlights into it. You could use also this pink like for the flowers or go a little bit darker pink. Uh, also for the dress, you could use it to get that little sparkle like of ABs uh, or twinkle drills in it. What else could you do? You could work with the pearls. Why not make them like crystals around her neck and make her like even look more fancy? Then you could also work like with a dress, like use a little bit of white or very clear gray to put inside of her like dress to make it shine a little bit more. I would not take um, two sparkly drills for that. I would really go with twinkle drills or maybe ABs if you want, but to keep the highlight on her hair. Um, and then you could also work with white for the swan, of course, like just some highlights in it um, to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, and for the rest, I would definitely go with metallic drills for um, the keys that are flying around and for like more neon drills, like you could go glow in the dark for the wings of the keys and you could use like some glow in the dark as well for the blue roses here. Um, so I think this would definitely be something very nice. You could also work with green ABs to enhance a little bit more of the leaves that you can see um, around the background. So I think this is what I would enhance, like mainly the girl um, and a little bit of the background with the keys that are flying around. So this is my vision of it. Then again, like everyone got their own vision, which is very nice as well. And let's move on to this one, which people did really love as well. So this is Love Letter by Alana Barros. And um, it's also one of our Valentine's collection. So for this one, for this piece in particular, um, we do also have it like in round or square and in three sizes, 40 by 50 in small one, a 60 by 75 or an 80 by 100 if you want her to be really, really tall. Um, again, very lovely, beautiful drawing, digital drawing. And let me see what I can tell you about Alana Barros. So Alana Barros is a Brazilian artist, a visual artist uh, and university, university student, sorry. And she's been digital drawing since 2018. Her style is usually cute and colorful, which you can see here. So this is really true. Uh, very, very cute and very colorful. I love these pastel tones. And I must say, this is like one of my very favorite color combinations, this pink and turquoise, like definitely something I fall for every time. And I just love the theme of this beautiful painting where she's like holding the ladder to her chest and how she's really happy about it. So what can you do again? Like you can focus on her, of course, like add some highlights in the highlighted parts of her hair, going with very light pink or even with a little bit of white. You could work with uh, the starfishes up here, like um, you can make that one a little bit of yellow. You could work with the, the hearts around her head as well. You could like add some bling to them. Um, then you could work with these also, like I would definitely make them stand out a little bit by using um, more of crystals or like really a beast that pop the, the whole thing. You could also add some scales to her, her tail Oops. by just adding something to the white parts. Uh, for example, like to add some highlights there and also like to the fin. You could add some twinkle drills to make this a little bit more sparkly as well. You could add some sparkle around as well. You can see these little white points here uh, in the background. You can see them here and there as well as in the rest of the ocean you have some of these sparkles so you could like put some ABs, white ABs in these to make the whole water a little bit more sparkly. And if you really want to go a little further you still have the sun rays that you could highlight with also twinkle drills. I would not 
used ABs because they get like a little too bright often um, compared to twinkle drills. So I would keep the twinkle drills for like lighter enhancement and then keep the ABs for like I would say medium enhancement like if you really want it to bling and the crystals I would keep in the last place like if you want really to work on jewelry or something like that then you could definitely use some crystals because they are going to stand out and pop a lot. <laughs> so this is um, a love letter from Alana Barros also available like this Saturday with a 10% off. Let's move on and let's get to this one. So this one is from Zolina and it's called Death and the Flower Nymph. A very beautiful piece also as well like most of our diamond paintings this week in our Valentine's collection. Stay tuned for the Valentine's collection uh, in general. So this one is a we have it in three different sizes. It's a 50 by 55, a 60 by 70 or 70 by 80. And this is definitely one of the paintings that I was looking forward to publish because it's so fun. Like it does look so romantic as well. We have like this beautiful, um, I don't know, he's like a god. It's death, I think. And um, I love just how the two colors combine and clash. So if you know Zol uh, Zolina, I'm sorry, she is known for um, her different art style. She loves Law and Olympus and she's drawing a lot of that as well. She's a self-taught digital artist since 2019 and some people know her as Zoe or Miel. I lo she loves Greek mythology and lightning is uh, her passion lighting i'm sorry um that's why she always draws law olympus um definitely i can get that and i really love her art style this does look so much like the law olympus styles you can see um and i love also these the flower nymph how she's represented i love the color she's using and the lighting that she uses to place and play around with this painting so if you want to enhance it you could work like with this part here add a little bit of gold metallic drills or ab's to it i would definitely work as well with the blue to highlight the areas where she did put the lighting um, all around them like everywhere you can see this bright blue I would place some ABs as well. Um, you could work with either the guy or the girl. Um, <clears throat> use a little bit of pink, use a little bit of gray or white to enhance it. But I would really mainly focus on these parts, the golden parts here and the blue light that's all over like the painting. Uh, you could also work with her top or her bodysuit that she's wearing. And I think that would look lovely as well. I will not go too much into detail with this one for the enhancement. But I think you could definitely work with fewer colors for this one. And still get something that is really special. So let's move on to the next one. And this is from Pandy Alts. And it's called Rose Garden. And this does also remind me a lot of mythology. So let me just quickly get my sheet of Pandiel so that I can read to you like her description. But before we do that, just quickly, we have this painting as well in three sizes. We have it in 50 by 70, 60 by 85 and 70 by 100. And what Pandiel does tell her, uh, tell us about her is the following. <laughs> if I can get the document back open. So she is from Italy and her name is Pandy Els. Pandy is because she's obsessed with pandas and she has something like 30 panda shaped objects in her room. So that's really interesting. Uh, she thinks that ob obsession is a word that can also describe very well the approach she has towards books, fantasy worlds and fantasy creatures in general. She does her best to translate what she sees in her mind while reading into an illustration. And this is all in a very chaotic way. But just like she says, she's always doing her best. So I think I really love her art style. She also has like a very different art style. Um, and it has something very magical to it, I feel like. And this is Rose Garden by her. And um, like I told you, we have it in three sizes, square or round drills 
And we have here like this beautiful painting of this woman standing there. And I think you could add so much enhancement to this one. I definitely would go with like this fume here. I can't really tell you what it is, but it does look like a charm to me. And I would work with dark pink or even like lighter pink for some parts. Then I would definitely go on with the roses, add some ABs to them. And also to her hair, I would like add some of these same colored highlights. Um, you could also work with the flowers on the flower crown that she's wearing. I would go with either light pink, darkish gray or really white. Um, why not add like to this part also like um, twinkle drills, not just ABs. Um, I would really focus on the brighter colors and this fume like I told you here. Um, these are the definitely like the parts that I would highlight with the roses like the red color and then this pink that goes throughout the whole canvas. I think that this one would also be so much fun to enhance just because we have such a variety of bright colors still that you could work with all these beautiful pink shades, the red shade and the white shade like for her flower crown. So this is definitely a painting that I would love to see rendered as well, like with more of these um, like special enhancements. So let's move on and let's get to our next painting, which is from Clarisse Beaumont. Um, so Clarice, um, let me just quickly show you Clarice Bourmeau. Um, she did do this Valentine shop. We sell it in 60 by 60, 70 by 70 and 80 by 80 centimeters. And um, let me tell you what Clarice is saying. So Clarice, she's actually an artist from France. Um, if this does open... Um, so she's uh, an artist from France and she's an illustrator, like she loves to draw oniric universes in which she can identify um, through a gallery of different kind of stories and colors. She does reconstruct these dreams um, gem by gem and she loves to draw like kind of what she sees and what she feels in this unique emotion that she sees and feels. So this is really something uh, very special. I love all of her drawings because they have like something very natural to them and very fluid. I can't really explain what it is, but when I first saw her drawings, I was so in love with what she does and the art style that she has in general is really, really beautiful to see all her artwork coming together and the colors that she uses and how she uses different colors with the personness. So really something that I definitely like about it. And this is the painting we got from her. So this is Valentine Shop also in Iowa Valentine's collection. And you have this gorgeous switch in the middle of the shop. And she's trying to sell us some beautiful stuff and probably some love charms as well. You can also see these lovely little witches flying up there. This is actually a reference. Let me show you guys. Oops. How can I? Oops. Like this. This is a reference. Oh, I can't. Why can't I? Ah, yeah. This is a reference to Kiki. You see from Ghibli. Um, I guess I'm saying it like that. But um, yeah, so we have here this little witch in the shop. And what can you do? You can do a lot. Like if you want focus on her, that's definitely something I would do. I would use these 666 diamond drills that we have to place in her head and in her very beautiful dress. I would use the same very vivid red to put in the flowers and the heart-shaped flowers over here and as well in this little flower bow as well. So these are very bright red colors that you can find. Why not use twinkle drills ABs and place them? Um, then I would also maybe highlight just the yellow part because this is like kinder showing through. Um, and then you could like add some highlights here and there. Why not choose the white ribbon here or make this V into a metallic one? Um, you could really play around with it and add a lot of fun different parts where you want them. You could use like um, some colors like twinkle drills or ABs to highlight the flowers in the background. Use some black if you want for the witches um, to make them look like more like shadows that are flying over the shop. 
but I would definitely keep the main center point on her and the flowers that we see here. Maybe the candlelight as well, the ribbon like the wider parts and then add some highlights where you want to add them. Either the witchers or like maybe the skull here, the little plants that are hanging there. Like it's totally up to you. So yeah, this is it. This is um, the collection of paintings that are going to be released this, this Saturday at 12 p.m. CET. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and it helps you like to maybe select a painting from our choice this week. You can still like um, get this 10% reduction this weekend. So if you want one, it's always a good, nice way. Um, to get it like um, without paying full price for it. So I hope you liked today's video. It would really help me if you could give it a thumbs up or even like our page if you're new to it. Um, and also leave a comment if there's like something to say, if there's a diamond painting that you are really into or if there's like more info you want about an enhancement. Always leave your comments down below and I will get back to them as soon as I can. I wish you a lovely week. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay hydrated. And if you love artwork, stay tuned for Monday. Have a nice week. Bye, guys.